Not all people who recover from COVID-19 have a hard time moving on from the experience of contracting the virus. They came and tested us and I was told that my results had come back positive for corona. So I was taken to Gatenga and two weeks later I was back. At first you become scared that you might die, but you soon calm down and accept the reality. He told me that I had COVID-19 and that I should self-isolate. At that time, we were in the middle of the total lockdown at home. I was shocked at the news because I exhibited no symptoms at all. Then came the fear that I could die from it, but they gave me reassurances that people recover from it. It is difficult to find people who will openly admit in front of a camera that they have struggled after recovering from COVID-19. But others we spoke to assured us that they exist. Sometimes a person has a hard time accepting it and they become traumatized. Sometimes they may have a hard time socializing and may decide to continuously isolate themselves. Such people need counseling to help them move on from their experiences while sick and that they no longer need to isolate themselves. People should talk to them so that they can be truly reintegrated back into society. They should be talked to and assured that life must go on and that if they suspect that they have any physical problems after recovering, they can go back to hospital for checkup. Some people could have gotten very sick when they contracted the virus and then continued to face health problems afterwards because of financial problems. I believe in that case the government should step in and help them improve their welfare. Health experts agree that the mental scars COVID leaves can be very serious. You may have recovered from the disease, but you know someone it killed and that may result in trauma for you because you know exactly what your friend experienced before they died. The death of a loved one can result in trauma, knowing that you could be next, and that situation can leave many panicky. <laughs> Officials at the Rwanda Biomedical Center say difficult times like these require that people's mental health be closely monitored. Heavy lockdown, Kuko Umonu, per definition, is social. First, there was the lockdown, and by definition, People are social creatures that do not do well in isolation. Then there is the fear that you or a loved one could contract COVID, or you could lose a loved one and the prevailing preventive measures do not allow you to bury them as you would normally do, or that can affect mental health.